Hello, welcome to lesson seven of additional maths. Um, today we're going to be focusing on quadratic inequalities. Okay, so hopefully you're already um, practiced at solving quadratic equations. Today we're going to be looking at inequalities which involve quadratics. So for example, the one there which says solve the inequality 2x plus x squared is greater than 3. And what that means is it wants you to state all the values that x could possibly be where this would be true, where 2x plus x squared would be greater than 3. Okay, so for example, a, a value which wouldn't work is 0. If you plugged 0 in instead of x, you would get 2 lots of 0 plus 0 squared, which would both be 0. And 0 is not greater than 3, so that wouldn't work. Okay, so 0 wouldn't be part of the solutions to this. But there will be a whole range of values of x which would work. Okay, so 10, for example, would work. 2 lots of 10 plus 10 squared is greater than 3. So 10 is part of the solution set. A key skill we need to be able to solve this is to sketch quadratics. Okay, so you need to be confident at sketching quadratics relatively quickly. And it's a relatively simple method in order to sketch quadratic if it factorizes nicely. The questions we're going to be doing are ones which will factorize nicely, so um, be aware of that. So, for example, if I wanted to sketch y equals x squared minus x minus 72, I would factorize the x squared minus x minus 72. It factorizes into x at the start of both brackets, then two numbers which multiply to make minus 72 and combine to make minus 1, and that would be minus 9 and positive 8. So that would be x squared minus 9x plus 8x, which gives me my minus 1x, and then minus 72 would come from minus 9 times 8. And then because it's in factorized form, I now know the two roots. Because the factors are x minus 9 and x plus 8, the roots would therefore be 9 and minus 8. So my quadratic, which has this shape, would go through at minus 8 and at 9. And that's all you need to be able to sketch it, is sketch it like that. You don't even need a y-axis. Just having the x-axis is all you need for this. Okay, all you need for this topic to solve quadratic inequalities. Okay, so we're going to be using that skill to help us solve quadratic inequalities like this one. The first step is, once you've got a quadratic inequality, like a quadratic equation, we want it to be the quadratic on one side and zero on the other. Now, it's far better to have a positive x squared, and we can manipulate using the algebra um, to have a positive x squared by simply, if I have a negative x squared, by adding that x squared to both sides until I've got a positive x squared on one side and no x squareds on the other. Okay? So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got a positive x squared, so I'm going to keep that on that side. So I'm going to rewrite this inequality as x squared and 2x. I prefer having it as the the quadratic with the x squared part first, then the x to the power of 1 part, and then any numbers. Okay, so I've kept that as it is, but I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides as well so that I've got 0 on the right side. So this then becomes x squared plus 2x minus 3 is greater than 0. So that line follows directly on from the previous line. All I've done is subtracted 3 from both sides. Now I've got a quadratic on one side and 0 on the other. So I can factorize and that'll help me. So I'm going to factorize this quadratic into two brackets. So I'm looking for two numbers which multiply together to make minus 3 and which combine to make, together to make 2. And that will be positive 3 and negative 1. Now I've got my factorized form. Here's where the sketch comes in. What we're going to sketch is we're going to sketch the graph y equals x plus 3, x minus 1. Okay, because we've got it in factorized form, 
it's very easy to, and quick to sketch it. If I sketch it, it'll look like this. I have the factors x plus 3 and x minus 1, so therefore I know the roots. The roots will be negative 3 and positive 1. Okay, how does that help us? The reason it helps us is because what we're trying to solve is we're trying to solve the values of x for which this quadratic is greater than 0. I have just sketched the graph where y is equal to that quadratic. So really, what I'm trying to find out is I'm trying to find out when y is greater than 0. Because this box here is equivalent to y on my graph. Okay, because it's, I've drawn the graph of y is equal to that thing. So really, I'm trying to solve when is y greater than 0. Okay, so look at your graph. Which part of the graph is the y coordinate greater than 0? Here's the x axis. There are infinite coordinates on this graph. We're only looking for the coordinates on the graph where the y coordinate is positive. And that will occur with all the points above the y axis, above the x axis. So those points and those points. Okay? Points on those two arms of the quadratic curve. That is where the y coordinate is greater than zero. So what I'm interested in is I'm interested in what values of x give me those two arms of the quadratic curve. And the values of x for which that is true are the values of x to the left of minus three and to the right of one. If I plug values of x to the left of minus three, I get y coordinates on my graph which are above the x-axis. If I plug in values of x to the right of 1, I get positive y values on my graph. So my solutions to this quadratic inequality are as follows. Either x is smaller than minus 3, that's these parts of the graph to the left of minus 3, or x is greater than 1. That's these parts on the graph, to the right of 1. Okay, so that is my solution set. Any x values in those groups will make this inequality true. Okay? You could try different values. So if you wanted x less than minus 3, you could try minus 5 in here, and that would work, because 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. Minus 5 squared is 25. Minus 10 plus 25 is 15. 15 is greater than 3. So it works. And you could try any value to the right of 1. Okay, so you could try 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 2 squared, which is another 4. That would be 8. 8 is greater than 3. So that works. So that is the solution set for this quadratic inequality. Okay? So. I want you to now try and do the same for another quadratic. The one I want you to do is as follows. Can you solve the quadratic inequality minus 2x is smaller than 3 minus x squared? So remember, the steps, firstly, make sure you have a quadratic expression on one side of the inequality, zero on the other side. Make sure the quadratic expression has a positive x squared. It is simpler to work with, okay? It's not impossible to solve if you don't have that, but it is much simpler to work with if you have positive x squared on one side. Factorize, sketch, and then think on your sketch, where is this going to be true? For which parts of this graph is this going to be true? Okay, so pause. Have a go at solving this one, and then I'm going to go through the answer. Okay, 
So what I would do is I would add x squared to both sides because I've got a negative x squared on the right. I don't like that. I prefer having a positive x squared. So I'm going to add x squared to both sides. So I'll get a positive x squared on the left. I'll still have my negative 2x. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So that would then leave me with 0 on the right. I'll then factorise. So the two brackets will have x at the start of them. This is a relatively simple factorization. One of them will be negative 3, the other one will be positive 1. So that means I've got my factors now. So I sketch the graph of y equals x minus 3, x plus 1. And that'll look like this. It'll be a positive quadratic. And the two roots are negative 1 and positive 3. Now, the difference between this question and the one I went through is that I want to know when this quadratic is below 0. So really, I'm trying to find out when is y less than 0. And that is true for this part of the graph. OK. So the y coordinate is below zero in that section of the graph. And that will be true for the x values between minus one and three. Any x value in that region, you will get a negative y value. So my solution set is negative one, smaller than x, which is smaller than three. That is the way you write an inequality where you want x between two values. You start with the smallest value, you say that is smaller than x, and then you say that x is smaller than the bigger value. That means that x is between those two values. Okay? If you got that correct, superb, because it's, it's more difficult than the previous one. There was more algebraic manipulation to start with, and also it wasn't either side of the, of the two roots, it was in between the two roots. So writing that inequality often confuses people. Now what you should do is you should go to the textbook, go to exercise 3.3, so chapter 3, exercise 3, and practice questions 12 onwards. So those are the quadratic inequalities questions. So that's from the textbook that we've been talking about. So this one here, the Add Math textbook that's perfect for this course. If you practice this a few times today, so a, a few times until you feel like you understand it, and then what you should do is wait a few days and then try and see if you can answer it again. And if it's fluent, if, then you shouldn't be thinking about it too much. It, it should be a, a natural process that you do quickly. If it's something you're thinking about, then you need to practice it again and again until it becomes more fluent. OK, so go away and enjoy your maths.